Film on, rolling, action. When it comes to claiming the crown of who exactly are the world's greatest drivers, there is only one winner, the truck drivers of India. Everywhere you go, you see these Indian trucks. They travel all over India and you pass them on the road, big old trucks. But what about those truckers who ply the icy roads of Alaska that I saw on the History Channel? I hear you all ask. They face slippery dangers all the time, you say. Well, you know what Indian truck drivers call that program? Ice, road, pussies. That's right. Because compared to the road kings of Hindustan, those Alaskan drivers are exactly that. Pussies. You see, the truth is that Indian truckers face hazards and dangers every day of their lives that would make an Alaskan trucker shit his pants. And Indian truckers don't need a TV program to prove it. Instead, they just get on with their jobs of navigating danger without complaint or much reward. Oh, fuck. You see, nowhere else in the world do drivers have to contend with dogs, cows and strange Mad Max-like vehicles as the Indian trucker does. Nowhere else in the world do truckers contend with extreme altitude and baking deserts. On top of the world, one of the highest passes in the world, 16,000 feet. Nowhere else do truckers have to drive through terrorist-infested regions inhabited by unfriendly locals. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Wow, unfriendly faces. <laughs> you do get the feeling everybody hates you up in these northern parts of India. From the jungles of Assam to the snowy pass of Ladakh, to the congested towns of the plateau. Craziest city in India, probably by far. Nothing slows down the mighty Indian trucker. Despite variations in climate and geography, religion and culture of the regions that they pass through, they know they have a schedule to stick to as they deliver the beer, the noodles, and the snacks the nation consumes in the villages and towns of the vast country. Bigger, crispier and tasty. You know what the G stands for? Do you know what the G stands for? And yet the Indian truck drivers don't complain or give up saying the job is just too dangerous for them. No, they just keep on smiling and keep on trucking because that is the Indian way. And what makes their skill even more remarkable is that unlike the ice road pussies of America who cruise about in their state-of-the-art trucks that cost a quarter of a million dollars and have five-star cabin interiors and the latest Swedish braking system technology, the formidable Indian trucker has to deal with the insanity of the Indian national highway system in lumbering old Tata trucks that lack even the most basic safety features like seat belts or ABS brakes that even the driver of the most basic car takes for granted in the West. Okay, this is the guy that tried to kill me today in Leh. What happened today? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? Don't Why see. are you not looking when you're driving? I don't see. I beat my horn, you don't see, you say, but you carry on, you hit me, you knock me across the road. Oh, sorry, sorry. You will drive more carefully in future? Yeah. Because easy to kill me. Okay. 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 No problem. We forget about this. Okay, no problem. So sorry. No problem. So okay, sorry. no problem. That fact alone sets them apart from the other pretenders to the throne. And so, what do Indian citizens say about these road gods who reside amongst them? Do they lavish the truckers with the praise and offerings that they deserve for keeping the nation's shops and markets supplied with fresh supplies? The answer to that is no. Instead, when I comment that these road dogs deserve to be deified for their heroic deeds, the mortals who don't know what it takes to cross a 5,000 metre pass in an unheated Tata truck cabin or drive the wrong way up a national highway just in order to deliver their load of Limca bottles on time disdainfully say, yeah, but you know Indian truckers are addicted to opium and visit roadside brothels, right? Are you kidding me? For I say, so what if Indian truckers have their vices? Let them enjoy their drugs and prostitutes. After all, did not Lord Krishna himself enjoy the company of over 16,000 girls? 
And who are these Indian truckers, if not the living embodiment of gods? And gods are not bound by the social norms that we, the mere mortals, are. Instead, they follow their own rules. Rules that maybe are incomprehensible to us, but nonetheless should be respected. It's a man. So finally, I say, lay the crown on the heads of these driving gods among us and renounce the false prophets on foreign television channels. For nobody can match the greatness of these underappreciated heroes. Indian truckers, I salute you. Just, 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 just.